Hello everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here. My mom got a new Hamilton Beach um, coffee machine that uses uh, coffee grinds, I think, instead, and it's uh, single serve. So we're gonna do an unboxing and a little uh, setup, I guess, review of it. So it has a quick start guide right on the top here. How to use it uh, before first use. You guys can pause that and uh, see what that is. I'll put it a little bit closer. There you go, so that's the quick start guide. So I guess opens up like that, coffee grinds going here. Oh, there it is. And then we're gonna use disposable um, filters so we don't have to clean this out so much. Or otherwise, if you don't wanna use um, paper ones, um, then um, you can use this one, And but then you just have to clean it out all the time. And I'm not really a fan of that too much. All right, so here's the instruction manual over here that we're probably not gonna read. We're probably just gonna go with a quick start guide for you guys because um, we don't want to take forever. I'm setting this up. Uh, what else comes in here? So this comes in here the scoop inside your perfect cup of coffee I don't know it has all this stuff on it. You guys can pause that and see what that looks like. So pretty much that's it on there um, All right, so we'll be right back in like a minute We're gonna get it set up on the counter real quick. I mean, it's pretty simple All you do is plug it in. I'll let you know if anything else is different, but we'll be right back. Hello, everyone. We are back uh, with Glenn Velver reviews, uh, the, after the unboxing, obviously. And this is kind of what it looks like. It comes with a little holder on the side for your, uh, scoop or filter, uh, fil what's that called? A, it's called a scoop brew filter or something they call it. Yep. And then, uh, over here, they call this the filter holder. Um, so it's another filter, uh, that they have as a filter holder. And then this is the filter well where it will, you know, come out of the one um, single hole over there. So pretty much that's the setup. We cleaned it a little bit as best we can. I'm gonna run some water through it and do a little bit of a test. They do have um, this plate down here. They call it the cup rest. It's made out of metal. It's pretty thick. Um, it says it's a, a flip one. So I guess you could take it out or not take it out or let me see, wait, what? It flips the other way. Oh, oh wow. that's if you, yes, so... So it goes that way if you're like, making, like, little like espressos. Um, here, so I'm going to put, we're going to run just 12 ounces of water through it right now into the uh, Beatles mug that we got here. Um, we're going to just give it a little bit of a test. I didn't plug it in yet. Let's plug it in together. Keurig over there. That's our old Keurig. It's not that old. <laughs> well, the older Same one old. that's older than this, yeah. Um, all right, so, all right, so I plugged it in. Nothing really changed with the lights or anything like that. So we're gonna put 12 ounces uh, probably in here and we're gonna test it out and see about brewing. Let me put everything together like it would be, just not with a coffee filter in it. Oh, sorry, yeah, so I didn't show you, but that's the spray head that's gonna hit the grinds right there. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see it before. There's three holes, four holes that come out that spray your uh, coffee grinds and that's kind of what the reservoir um, looks like right there. I didn't fill it up to the max, but I put 12 ounces in and we're just gonna run a um, You know a test pot right there. There's Riley. Riley say hi. Okay, and I think we just hit the button right regular. Yes, that's it Okay, so we'll run a, a, just a dry pot first All right, so now we're gonna make um, well, you actual to... coffee and see how it tastes is the plan. If you wanna put milk in instead of, I don't, I don't care. Just cause I'm not gonna drink it. I'm just gonna take oh, a sip. Oh, I know, I'm, but I'm, I I'm only gonna have... have a sip. All right, so we put that in there like that. She put the, the two, um, she put like two and a half tablespoons for eight ounce cup for eight ounces of water we used. So that's what we got. Then we're gonna close this up and we're gonna give it a try. You wanna try it on bold or regular? Which does she do, use? All right, ready? Well, we'll try it just regular right now. What we were doing. All right, so these are the filters that she did get to fill, to fit. They come in 60 pack. And yeah, they look like this. And they fit right in, so we could just throw them out really easily. And you know, they're biodegradable. We don't know if they are, we just say that to sound green. All right, so that's kind of what the coffee is gonna look like uh, before we put milk in it and stuff, so you guys can see, because some of you guys, you know, everyone takes their coffee differently. Cup is dark, so. Yeah, the cup's kind of <laughs> dark. So you use the other one. the other one's gray. it still does drip for a while. 
All right, so we did not use the, the filter pads. Sorry about that, uh, but we're gonna clean this out. It doesn't look hard to clean no, out though. All right, so we're gonna give it a taste. We're gonna see uh, what's up and uh, see if it's any good. Like I said, everyone takes their coffee differently. So like I was saying to my mom, it does splatter a little bit up here. So maybe that's why you would wanna keep it in this um, position instead. So this way the coffee cup will be closer to here and then it won't splatter as much um, is what I'm guessing. So you guys can, you know, have it that way if you want, just so you're not getting the splatter like I saw. Um, the drip plate, let's see how easy it does come off. Yeah. All right, so the drip tray doesn't come out on this uh, model, just to let you know, we can find that in there. So you do have to dry that up. So just obviously note to self and that's it. So we're gonna taste it, see what's up. Let's put some milk in it. I'm not used to the milk, I'm used to almond milk. So uh, I don't know, I'm not really liking it. Unless it's the, unless it's the, the, the grinds? Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah, it is a little. A little bitter? Maybe it's the grinds. I mean, it's coffee. It, so, it would taste a little maybe different should, maybe we should than what we thought. Ma yeah, maybe, maybe we have to clean it more. Maybe that's why. So uh, that's it for Glen Velvet reviews on the use and review of it. That's kind of uh, the full setup and everything like that you can expect. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right? Everybody enjoy. I'm out. Be safe.